Visiting a hospital to make an education funding announcement for Tasmania. But it was housing policy that stole the headlines. I've seen those reports and what we do is we value the public service. So from time to time I'm sure the public service are looking at policy ideas. The report in nine newspapers suggests the government's commissioned Treasury to investigate possible changes to negative gearing policy. The Prime Minister is being coy. No, I didn't, I didn't confirm that. We've got a housing policy and that's not in it. A negatively geared property is one where a landlord is paying more on their mortgage and expenses than they're making in rent. Landlords can deliberately set up their investment to make this loss because it means they don't have to pay as much tax. Negative gearing reform haunts Labor. Bill Shorten wanted it restricted only to new homes ahead of the 2019 election and lost. Almost a fifth of taxpaying Australians do it, which means there are a lot of votes in keeping it. But five years on, soaring house and rental prices suggest the mood might have shifted. Poll after poll in the past two years has actually shown really consistent either support or that people are really open to this change. Stop, congratulations. The Coalition wants clarity. There's nothing wrong with the government considering anything, but lying to the Australian people about whether they're considering it is another issue entirely. The opposition claims negative gearing changes will take wealth from mum and dad investors and won't solve the problem. We don't support a tax on housing. Uh, that will reduce the supply of housing and increase the cost of housing. Labor's having a lot of difficulty getting its housing policies through the Senate, thanks to pushback from the Greens. If Labor does pursue negative gearing changes, this is one thing they could agree on. Greens pressure works and everything is impossible until it's not. Pressure that will only grow stronger as the election draws nearer. Isabel Rowe, ABC News, Canberra. The Prime Minister denies he was the one who asked Treasury for options on negative gearing and capital gains tax rules. And within Labor, there are mixed views about fighting another election on this battleground. Here's National Political Lead David Spears. The Prime Minister did a round of radio interviews late today to insist he didn't ask for the modelling on this. He wasn't sure whether the Treasurer did, and Jim Chalmers is now on a flight to China. Either way, this is just routine stuff, is the official line. Treasury is always looking at options. But until the government clears up whether it will or won't go to an election with a plan on negative gearing and capital gains tax, the questions and speculation will only continue, including amongst the government's own backbench. Some in Labor are worried about spooking mum and dad investors, and the Coalition today quickly reheated its line about Labor's housing tax. Others, however, reckon there's been a shift in sentiment since Labor's 2019 election loss. As the housing crisis has worsened, the appetite for bold reform has grown. Treasury's analysis would need to show, though, that any change will clearly help, not hurt, housing supply. Ultimately, this will come down to a political judgment. Labor needs to fend off both the Coalition and the Greens. Negative gearing and capital gains tax has been in Labor's bottom drawer for five years. That drawer is now ajar.